Hey everyone, it is Friday, November 3rd, and uh, so Rebecca had to go to work. Uh, she didn't feel very good, so I drove her to work, um, and then I ran and got her some medicine. I'm taking that into her now, and if you know anything about tech or anything, the iPhone 10 releases today. Uh, so we are going to go and look at those. It'll be fun, so, all right. to walk in the Apple store and it's actually not as crazy as I thought it would be but dude I can't wait to see these new phones I hope they're awesome all right here it is 10 all screen well not I guess not all screen it's got the little notch so really I mean again I feel like on the camera it doesn't do it justice it's a really uh, pretty display really beautiful what are you thinking I wish it was bigger, but I like it. It doesn't feel too much smaller than the Plus, like I thought it would. I agree with that statement. I keep trying to swipe up for the control center, though. But that's a swipe down. Probably wouldn't use it without a case because of those gestures, you know? You want it? You don't want the... Okay. <laughs> So Rebecca has discovered the Animoji <laughs> and that alone is enough to sell her on this phone. <laughs> okay, so this is hard for me to admit. Um, I don't love the new iPhone 10. I hoped I would. Uh, I feared I wouldn't, and uh, I just I just don't. Um, I don't hate it. I think the display is beautiful. I don't know if that's enough uh, for me to upgrade uh, to a whole new ecosystem, not ecosystem, user experience, I should say. Um, it's a beautiful device. I just, yeah, I don't know. Maybe I need more time with it. Well, I'm leaving uh, the mall right now. Uh, Rebecca had a bunch of stuff she had to do. Uh, I have a free burrito from Moe's, my favorite, uh, for my birthday. I'm going to go get that. Um, I'm thinking I'm going to go to Best Buy, look at another camera. Um, it's like the Canon EOS M5. It's kind of uh, similar to like the Sony A6500 and 6300 and those kind of cameras. And if I'm going to start uh, doing videos and stuff, I, I really... I like to have a couple of good devices. Um, the G7X is cool, but if I'm gonna do like bigger stuff, uh, I should get better stuff. Uh, if we can afford it. If not, which you know, we probably can't, uh, but I at least just wanna go look at it and start shopping and pricing and all that kind of stuff. Um, but yeah, man, dude, I'm like freaked out about this iPhone thing. Like, I hope, I kinda hoped I would go in and just love it and I don't. And uh, I don't know. I'm probably going to go check it out in a little bit. Uh, apparently, we don't know how to use the little Polaroid thingy Rebecca has because we took this picture outside. <laughs> we took this like three hours ago. And uh, yeah, it didn't develop well. All right, I'm at Best Buy now. I'm going to look around. Maybe look at the iPhone again if they have it here. Uh, but mainly, I'm here to check out some camera stuff. So. So this is the one we're looking at, the uh, M5, the Canon EOS M5. It's a mirrorless camera. It looks, obviously it looks awesome. But um, I saw the M6, I hadn't heard of that one. Apparently that's the older one though. This one came out in like 2016. This came out in 2017. Uh, he said this one has faster autofocus. Uh, the M6 has more autofocus points. Um, I don't really know what a ton of that means. Plus like the viewfinder is built into this one. Um, I mean, I still think it's something worth looking into. Uh, as I think that one would take over like the main camera, and the, this camera, the G7X, would be like the the backup slash B camera. Could be cool. Also, there's like a bell that'll ring, and anytime it rings, like every employee claps. I have no idea what's going on, but apparently, uh, really exciting stuff. 
Okay, so I'm just gonna show you a couple things I don't like about the new iPhone, if it'll focus. Is it not focusing? Weird, okay. Anyway, bear with me through the not focusing. So, like if you go into messages or anywhere, uh, your keyboard here doesn't go all the way down to the bottom of the screen. So this whole like, we've gotten rid of whatever, it's all screen. It's like, it still looks like, I don't, I don't know how to explain it other than like, put the freaking keyboard all the way down. Oh, it's convenient to have that there. It's like, it's not any more convenient than it was already. And that just, I hate that. I hate the way that feels. I hate the way that looks. Um, also, like multitasking, like closing apps. So you do the swipe thing. But if you do that, that doesn't multitask out of them. See, they're still open. You have to like hold. And then it just doesn't make any sense. And uh, a feature they introduced where you can like double tap and like, Half the screen would come down because it's not it's not necessarily a one-handed phone. So like get a the, you know what I'm saying? Like it's I don't know. I'm probably rambling through a bunch of stuff right now. But I just I wanna love it and I do love it. I just also also don't love it at the same time, if that makes sense. So I'm just hanging out, killing time, uh, which is kind of the story of our life. <laughs> just logging around. Uh but dude, there's like three or four um, like steakhouses right here, and they're all cooking right now, and it smells so good. I know I just had a burrito, but like I don't know, it's making me hungry again. So I've killed some time in a couple bookstores, and I'm back at the mall uh, because I have so much more time to kill until Rebecca gets off. So I'm going back to the Apple Store, hanging out with the phone again, uh, see if I can reconcile this keyboard thing because I know it sounds dumb, but it's driving me crazy. Also, it's November 3rd. Like, can't we do just a couple more weeks without Christmas stuff? I mean, it's cool, but so soon? Two hours later. Well, uh, we did a thing. It's really dumb. We shouldn't have done it, but we did it anyway. Because YOLO, YOLO right? And those dudes are looking at me. But, uh... Usually we set them up in store. I didn't want to do that. I want to do like an unboxing thing. So I probably won't even be able to use my phone until later. <laughs> that sucks. I didn't even think about that. Uh, but anyway, heading back to Rebecca. Going to give her her device. Uh, yeah, sweet. I'm excited. What is he doing here already? He just waved at me. He's so nice. Look, it's like Christmas Central over here. It's nuts. I love Santa Claus. I mean, I don't know if that's the best gift ever. It'd be kind of cool. I mean, like a million dollars would be cooler though. Hi. So we got the tins, which is stupid, and I wanted to unbox them. And you know, so like we've <laughs> we've had these phones for like three hours now, four hours now. Haven't opened them. <laughs> Can't use our our current phone. <laughs> it's, it's it's awful. Yeah, we're on our way home to unbox them. Yeah, so I'm not gonna, too much longer. Yeah, I'm gonna film an unboxing. It's gonna be cool. And, and you guys will be able to see it. Okay, so we saw all these cops coming up. Don't really know what it is. But Maybe we thought a, we would film it. Maybe it's a drug bust. I don't know. Hopefully it's not a serious accident because then I would feel kind of bad. But look at all these cops. There's one, two, three, four, five, six cops. I think it's a drug bust. It's definitely a drug bust. <laughs> All right, we're home now, and Rebecca is backing up her phone since I thought she had like the iCloud backup thing, but she doesn't apparently. Um, so she's gonna do it on her computer and do an encrypted backup, which is way more convenient because like it saves all your passwords and everything. So when you when you sync up to that backup, it's literally like just using your phone. Uh, but yeah, she's gonna do that, and then we're gonna unbox the new phones. Okay, so here it is. This is the new iPhone 10. Uh, this is the silver. Uh, this is my phone. Rebecca has the space gray. I'll show you that in a second. But all right, let's just dive right in. Right in. You can. Oh, oops. Sorry. Here's my first ever unboxing. I don't know what to do. So you just peel that off. Get that out of there. You're gonna see when you just get it. One motion. Oh yeah. 
So here we are, packaging. Uh, this is kind of cool because, uh, you know, you got all your documentation you normally have, but this is now kind of printed in color. If I can open it, it's printed in color. Um, it kind of gives you a run through the phone and you know, all the new gestures and stuff. But I don't really care about that. I care about this. This is the silver. Oh, I kind of like it. Kind of like it. Um, but yeah, you get a charging brick, uh, some ear pods, which do not fit in my ears. Uh, it comes with the, the dongle and a uh, charger cable. Now, these phones are capable of quick charge, uh, but you need to buy another cable and another adapter, uh, which is going to cost you probably like 80 bucks in total. And uh, these phones are also capable of wireless charging. Uh, but we don't have those accessories right now. We will soon, but uh, but yeah. So this is the silver. Um, I'm gonna peel this. Up. I'm just gonna go for it. Hope I don't drop it. Oh, it's so satisfying to do that. There it is. There it is. iPhone 10. Excited. So here's the uh, the space gray, kind of a side by side. Here's the silver. Here's the space gray. Uh, just beautiful devices. I'm jealous. I do like the space gray, but uh, maybe I'll keep this. I don't know. Uh, Apple has a return policy of 14 days, so we could probably, you know, rig the system a little bit. But anyway, there it is. Also, I forgot to mention, let me clear all this stuff out. You got two of uh, these silicone cases. Rebecca got the purple and I got the blue. Uh, they didn't have any black in stock or anything like that. So I figured the blue would kind of look better with uh, uh, the silver. So yeah, anyway, that's it.